everyone, Matt here with the fish tank, and today um, I'm going to be looking at getting rid of some snails in my aquaponic system back here. Um, I grow a lot of vegetables and stuff on fish waste, actually, and a lot of you guys have noticed that in the uh, videos that I've made so far on this channel. Sorry I haven't been around, I just, I work a lot, and then I'm doing videos for all my other channels as well, like Home Farm Ideas, which you can see in this card here. And um, so I do videos constantly on that one because I have a, a, a larger following there and work has just been crazy. I also started um, started logging, basically I'm going to start doing videos on my business actually. I run a street sweeping company as well, uh, which you can see on this card here. And uh, if you ever wanted to start a business, especially in the street sweeping industry or um, maybe even landscaping because we might branch into that. Um, go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well. So today though, I want to address uh, snails in your, you know, this this applies to fish tanks because uh, this basically what this is is a huge fish tank with a lot of different filters and those filters grow food for us. So I already harvested onions and everything from this system which I'll show you uh, in this video. But I wanted to review a product today um, about um, you know, getting snails out of your tanks and also um, any any water source really. Um, I don't like to get rid of all my snails and the reason why is because they actually clear out a lot of algaes and stuff like that. So they basically, they don't, they don't just eat, um, they don't just eat, and I'm going to walk around a little bit, they don't just eat, um, you know, live plants. A lot of people, they think that they eat live plants and the reason why they think that is because um, they see the snails eating plants that are already dying or dead. Uh, and so snails in general, they usually, I mean, if they're not like, um, I think trumpet snails are kind of a pest. Um, and then what's the, what's the other one? Those nar narite ones? Anyway, all of them usually, they generally eat, um, you know, dying or decaying plants. So I don't get rid of all my snails, I just limit them. And that's what I'm gonna do. So this review of this product is gonna be basically just to, rev uh, to limit snails in your system. There's a benefit to snails, okay? They eat algae, they eat dying or decaying plant matter. They do not eat um, live plants. They don't eat plants that are actually healthy plants. So if you have snails eating your plants, then you have a problem with your plants. You're have, starting to have an issue, some kind of deficiency in the nutrients. All right, so let's get to that product. But of course, before I do that, let me show you part of the problem. Let's see if I can. Okay. So you see those two guys down there? Those are called ram horned. And um, I know some people think that they're just a total pest. They can be if you don't uh, handle them, if you don't basically uh, limit their growth. There we go. If you don't limit their growth in your system, okay? And so um, I grow this stuff here and I sell it actually. It's called, um, uh, not frog bit, it's called um, mosquito fern. And this stuff looks really cool. Look at it. I like how it looks in frog tanks too. Like you can put this in terrariums and vivariums as well, and it'll actually grow on the wood and stuff, but it needs a pretty moist environment. But I mean, imagine that like in um, a terrarium even. It's a floating plant. Um, and uh, so yeah, I mean, if you guys want some of this stuff, um, private message me on Facebook. Um, I'll put my link in the description below. But basically, I want to limit snails, uh, especially in this area. So I'm going to put one of these, it's a snail trap basically. I'm going to put the snail trap here to get rid of uh, most of the snails in here. Uh, there's not a lot in here actually. Um, it's when it, you go over here, and this is my sump tank, which is massive, right? And then this is my fish tank, and I use the fish in here to um, feed all my plants and while I'm at it uh, this is the kind of stuff I grow these are jalapenos okay and as you can see there's a lot coming in and then I have strawberry towers that are actually growing strawberries and then way back over there I have onions 
See? I grew all of these onions on fish waste. Uh, I think I'll, I think I have a card. I'll put a card up here as well. Um, kind of the growing process. I didn't really document it as well as I had wanted to. But anyway, and then I made this uh, thing out of bamboo and stuff to hang up the onions. Uh, right now I'm curing them so they basically um, I can store them away. All right, so this is the product I was talking about. Okay, there is a lot of weird looking ones online that you can get. Um, you can get this one in the Amazon store. I do have affiliate links, you guys. Um, so every time you guys purchase stuff through the affiliate links, it, it helps us out a little bit over here. Um, but basically, um, I got this one because it was more convincing to me, basically. Um, I think it's gonna work uh, better than the other ones I've seen. Uh, there's a lot of these, I don't know, cup looking, mushroom style looking ones. And it just looks like you basically pull a string up and then it closes and you trap the snails that way, but I just think that's just retarded. So um, so anyways, this one is from Syra, and it is a snail collector. Collector, It does not kill them, so this is a no-kill trap. Um, and there's pretty good instructions on the back of this thing. I don't think there's any instructions in the box, but when I open it, uh, we'll see. So, but basically, as you see, step B here is just to, um, you know put the bait basically inside this little thing and uh, you know I'm gonna get it all out so you can see but um, then these these bars right here are kind of important if you have this in a fish tank let's say you have some neon tetras or smaller fish that you don't want going in there you could actually put those bars across to set the size of uh, it'll basically help you limit the size of the creature that's gonna go in there um, because everything that eats food is gonna want to go in there okay so let's go ahead and just open this up and see how it goes so yep there was no instructions inside which is fine it's on the box but basically this thing here allows snails to come in but they cannot go out and it's pretty easy to install you just basically and it doesn't float either it is made of some kind of plastic though but it doesn't float so you have notches here and then you have notches here okay so you want to go for the second round of notches and the way I put it in just now is kind of imperative because that actually allows it to um, stay in the position that it's that it's in now you know basically at that tilted angle you want to kind of slide it in that way and then slide that other one in that way okay now it does come with these like I said and you put those in this slot right here and these slots um, along with the lid and the reason why these slot holes were important, not the second ones, but the ones out here, is because these, for the top, they actually go right on those second round of holes for the top. Okay, now you have an enclosed area, okay? Then you would obviously put all these in the slots that you want. I'm not going to do that because I don't have anything that I really want to prevent from getting in there. And I do have some guppies in there, but if they get in there, then I will be able to get them out pretty easy because I check my system every day. Um, it did come with food, two food pellets, which I don't know how well they will do because, um, and then it came with this little food holder. So basically you'd put those in there. Let's do that. You hear my neighbor's bird. <laughs> it's calling out to me. Well, let's see. There it is. Let me smell it. Oh, that's nasty. They'll love it. <laughs> so you basically take this, shove it in there. Okay, then we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right. Maybe I put it in there too hard. You basically just want it to where it's, it's just going to hold it at the bottom. So I did, I shoved it in there too far. And it doesn't stay together very well either. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use, well, there we go. Okay. You just want it on the bottom. See, I made a mistake. Okay. And then you wanna push that all the way to the bottom. Or I should say all the way down. There we go. Okay. Now that holds the food directly on the bottom 
and that makes it to where no snails or no nothing can get to it. Uh, and if they do want to get to it, they're going to have to put their little faces in there. So, yeah. So they basically go in. Watch. And it's super light and easy to, to lift. So every single snail in there is going to be able to get in there. Uh, but not all of them are going to be able to get out, especially not the adults. So let's put it in the system and then we'll do a follow up video. All right. So this spot's looking pretty good right here. Um, so that's where I'm going to put it. And then I will continue. I'll make another video, follow up video to show you guys how many snails I trap. I'll also put it in my uh, sump tank behind us here. Uh, after I do this one just to see if it's a little different um, obviously there's a lot more snails in this sump tank but um, what I'm gonna do uh, with that one is I'm gonna order a um, something to where I can stick it on the back of this and then um, stick it to the wall of the tank that way I don't have to put it all the way on the bottom because it's like four feet no not four feet probably like three and a half feet deep um, which I don't want to yeah I don't want to go snorkeling for this thing so we're gonna go ahead and put the trap here there's a couple things that I forgot to mention is um, on the top here, I already dunked it just to see how it would go, but on the top here, you definitely need to use the longer pins that it comes with. And the reason why is because when those go in, you turn them in here and it locks the top down. Um, because right when you put it in here, you're gonna need to make sure the bubbles are out. And I noticed these here, that if there's bubbles on them, they'll float, okay? Eventually they'll go down though, once the bubbles get released. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can put it in like that and see if it goes in. <clears throat> okay, that was way better. Okay, so you see on that one though? I don't know if you guys see that there's bubbles on those. So you wanna try to get that off as best you can without shaking the hell out of it though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this upside down. I saw a little bit of bubbles come out. And then you can use different foods and stuff too as well, you guys. Something that doesn't fall apart as much. Okay, there we go. All right. So there's still bubbles on the top, but it doesn't matter because now all the, the, the little bars are basically uh, down now. So let's go ahead and do a follow-up video on this. Um, you know, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that bell icon so you get all my video updates. Again, sorry guys, I haven't been around. I wanna do more videos. I just, I don't have tons of time to do this stuff. But uh, anyway, let me know if you guys like this video, all right? in the comment section below <laughs> and if you have any questions about this as well because i've already put it together at this point and um, i'll be able to answer your questions over the next few days uh, just to see if it's working because i'm going to check on it daily so all right god bless and peace